Let's see now one more problem on Arrhenius equation. The rate constant for the first order decomposition of H2O2 is given by the following equation log k equal to 14.34 minus 1.25 into 10 to the power 4 k by t. Calculate Ea for this reaction and at what temperature will its half life period be 256 minutes. See what he given. A rate constant for this first order reaction of, of H2O2. He given that rate constant in the form of equation. This equation. And he is asking to calculate value of Ea that is activation energy and he is also asking at what temperature uh, its uh, half life period will be 256 minutes let's try to write down what he given he given this equation from this we have to calculate Ea value and uh, we have to uh, also calculate at what temperature half life period will be 256 minutes. Let's see now how to calculate Ea value from this equation. See this equation is looking similar to Arrhenius equation. See K and T term is there. You know this Arrhenius equation. Let's try to form this Arrhenius equation like this. To form like this, see here is log to the base 10. So take log to the base 10 on both sides. So log k equal to log a into e to the power minus e a by r t. Now see this term. This is log a into e to the power minus e a by r t. See, this is like log m into n. You can write that as log m plus n. So, you can write this as log a plus log e to the power minus e a by rt. See here, you can write this as, see, log e to the power minus e a by rt. It is similar to log m to the power n. So, you can write this as minus e a by rt of log e log e to the base 10 this is base 10 and uh, log e to the base 10 you have to calculate now so, you know e value is 2.718 and uh, log of this 2.718 to the base 10 you have to look at the Look at them table of base 10 of the value log of value 2.718 that log of 2.718 value will be 0 0.434 now this minus and plus will become minus so log k equal to log a minus 0. 434 Ea by Rt. Now compare with given equation. See, this is given equation. Log k and log k. Log a value is 14.34. And see here 1 by t and here 1 by t. So minus minus. It means this whole term is equal to this 1.25 into 10 to the power 4 k by t now equate these two that is 0 0.434 into e a by r t equal to 1.25 into 10 to the power 4 k by t now cancel this to this t and this t what is remained 0 0.434 e a by r equal to 1.25 into 10 to the power 4 Okay. Now take this R this side. So 1.25 into 10 to the power 4 into R value is 8.314 joule for mole for Kelvin. This for Kelvin and this Kelvin will get cancelled 
and when you multiply these two 1.25 into 10 to the power 4 into 8.314 is 103.925 and remaining here is joule per mole now take this zero find 434 this side and when you multiply when you divide this you will get EAR 2394588.5 so if you it is joule for mole if you convert this in terms of kilojoule for mole that will be 239.458 kilojoule for mole this is the value of E let's see second part of this question at what temperature will its half period be 256 minutes that is temperature at at what temperature this T half is 256 minutes to calculate this see he given a reaction as a first order reaction and you know that for first order reaction K equal to 0 0.693 by T half from that equation you calculate k value once you calculate the k value using this given equation you can calculate temperature see here is temperature term here is k term you calculate k value by using half life half life relation and then by using this equation you can well calculate value of t see now for first order reaction t half equal to 0 0.693 by k that is k equal to 0 0.693 by t half he given t half as 256 minutes but you convert that into second because everything in the in the given equation is in SI net so you have to convert this uh, minute into SI net that is second so for that multiply by 60 when you simplify this one you will get k value as 4 5 5 into 10 to the power minus 5 for second why for second you have converted minute uh, time in into second which was in minute so only now unit is unit of k is per second see this is he given equation in this equation put value of k and uh, only unknown is temperature here this is just uh, uh, unit k ignore it uh, so log of 4.5 into 10 to the power minus 5 14.34 minus 1.25 into 10 to the power 4 by t see uh, try to simplify this one I will not simplify when you simplify uh, this equation you will get temperature as 669 Kelvin so at uh, 669 Kelvin its uh, half period will be 256 minutes that's it this problem thank you subscribe to my channel to get more videos like the video share the video and spread worldwide to help others